guys! Today we are going to be taking a look at my Juvi Double Stroller Scooter. I get so many questions about this thing. You guys love it. I'm going to be taking you through it. I'm going to be showing you all my mom hacks and how I pack this thing up um, every day. So if you are interested in seeing how we do that for three kids, then keep on watching. Here is my Juvi Double Stroller. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit better and see how I pack this up and what I how I pack it up so that it's really ready to go for all of the kids. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you some of my favorite features, but I'm going to show you guys how we pack it up. Um, it's kind of like a diaper bag. Honestly, I utilize the stroller so that I can carry less items on me and on my body. So this is life-changing, okay? Why did it take me three kids to realize this? I don't have to hold every single thing in a backpack. I can carry a small mini backpack, and I can put everything in the stroller and use the stroller every single day. Genius! Light bulb! Okay, so this... Juvie Double Stroller is amazing, okay? I've tried any, every and any stroller you can think of, everything that's on the market. Um, so the things that I like about this that I really point out to people when they ask me if they should get this, the answer is yes. <laughs> Not sponsored, I paid for this myself, I just really love it. So the big thing is these seats recline completely, which is game changing for naps on the go. Um, it's got a really great buckle system here. So let me tighten up, oh, let me show you how to tighten this up. Um, and also these, the leg, things recline. So there's a little squeezy, uh, this is so technical, <laughs> little parts that you can kind of adjust here and we can put this down or let's say your baby's a little bit like not, their legs don't hang down just well. So you can put this up to then give them a little extra support. Um, also before I flip this puppy around, there are little elasticized pockets on both seats. What I like to do with this is have each child carry their own water bottle. So because I have three kids, it's not realistic for me to put in a diaper bag three water bottles, that's just too many. So I slide these in here every day and they know they're in charge of their water. And then on the other side, maybe a toy, a snack, there's just so many things they can do with it. And then, okay, we got this, like look at this shade. Let me scoot you back here, roll on back. That's awesome, right? And look at how easily this is turning. Okay, and then this is awesome too. This is, it's a lot of strollers that I feel like, make you feel like you need a parent console, blah, blah, blah. I don't use that. In this, I can put my drinks, my coffee cup stays in there. There's trash because we just went to the zoo, so sorry about that. Um, and then in these, you have like a zipper pocket. So again, so much space, so much organization. This is my trash pouch. Um, I can keep extra water, extra snacks, my phone, and I love the grab handles, they're really soft and smooth. What I do put up here is my Mickey hook. This is from Between and Pickle Bottom. To do this and hook my Hydro Flask on there. So, again, I don't have to carry this on my, in my backpack. I don't have to worry about how am I gonna fit that in um, my diaper bag. So I'm gonna hook that on there, great. Now, underneath here, there's this locking mechanism. This system allows the child to sit up, okay? And then you just kind of pull this part off. Now, in order to shut the stroller, they do have to go in lay down position. So that's why they start out lay down. Um, so we tighten that up. This guy's sitting up now, okay? We're gonna swing over here. There should be two um, ropes. Mine kind of gets stuck, so my husband has to fix the other one, which is why you saw me only for one. Coming right around here. Tightened. Now this child is also in sit up mode. Everybody's good and dandy. Now, we're gonna head to the organization, the stow and tow. This is my friends, this is like life changing for me and this is what I was talking about. So we went to the zoo, right? We had a really busy day, we were out all day. We needed a whole cooler full of food, okay? Because we've got five people in my family. I no longer feel like, oh, I need to pack everybody's PB&Js in my backpack. That's too many things for me to hold. So guess what? I got this big, I think it's like an Igloo, Igloo brand from Target and it fits in the bottom of the stroller, which is what I needed. So you head on down here, but it fits because I tried it. There we go. And that's in there. No problem. That's where it's going to stay. Okay. Next up is a Tula carrier. Again, something that I don't need to pack in my backpack, but I always have one in the car and then bring one in the bottom of the stroller just in case. These baskets down here, you guys, can fit an insane amount of items. So it's very deep, it's huge. If you're someone that maybe grocery shops with your stroller, you could fit so many groceries down on the bottom. Now this is my mom pack. This is just like an old basket from Target. I think it was like five bucks. And I'm gonna show you what I do with this thing. So I slide it down 
on this side. This is exactly why I don't carry so many things on my body. I use the Lily J packing cases to pack them up and we've got everything in here. We've got bribery. I'm not above bribery. If you need a bribe, bribe girl. Uh, we got lotion. We got baby food pouches. We got Neosporin, band-aids, literally anything and everything you might think of here. Then in the large one, I have more band-aids because my friends, even if it's not serious, a band-aid fixes everything. In the large packing case, I have diapers, wipes, more band-aids. I already said that. Put that down. And then here's another overview of the basket, extra diapers, extra, a whole big humongous thing of wipes. I just don't ever want to be without wipes. Another baby food pouch, three juice boxes. Again, this is all bribery. This is just in case of an emergency. It's not something that I'm doing on the daily. Um, and then a Ziploc bag with sunscreen and bug spray. So let's pack this puppy back up here. I'm gonna just go ahead and add these to the packing case too. Why not? Because also, these Lily Jade packing cases are really making this possible for me because I don't ever have to like lose anything or wonder where did I put that? Because so many times I use dark pouches that don't have this clear front and I can never remember what I put where, let alone have my husband find it. So this is great. So we're just gonna start out. The basket's looking loaded right here. Here we go, and this little guy slides right on the bottom. Okay, you guys, do you see that? Look at that, and not only am I overly prepared, I have anything and everything you could think of down here. Real snacks, lunches, drinks, toys in the front, my own water bottle, What's on there? and then this extra pack of just bribes, just in case. So now for myself, I can carry a mini bag or like a little crossbody and just not have to lug around all of those things <laughs> that the kids require on my body at all times. So I hope you guys enjoyed this stroller tour, this mini mom hack. Drop a line below and let me know what's something that you guys have picked up on that maybe would be a fun mom hack to share. I'm gonna start trying to do like a mom hack Monday where I share something fun, maybe on YouTube or Instagram, so follow me on both and you guys will see some fun stuff. Okay, thanks so much, have a great day.